Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. It's Tracy. All right, we're gonna do this circus circuits again. I did this a few weeks ago. It was so fun. It's a combination of cardio and strength. All right, so here's your format. We're gonna go across the mat. You're gonna start with 10 reps of a cardio exercise. Then we'll hit three different strength exercises. Back to a cardio exercise. Hit that for 10 reps, and then we'll go back across the mat again. So you do cardio, strength, 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 cardio, strength, 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 cardio. All right, so kind of two rounds of each exercise except for that final one there. You're gonna require a variety of dumbbells in the workout today, so grab those. You can go at your pace, or you can switch when I switch. That is what I recommend. Again, this is going to be in rep range today. And don't forget, our membership is available to women. There's a link at the top of the screen. You can check that out. Lots of coaching weekly in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. All right, let's do this. Circuit circuits and move daily. Warming it up here, I'm going to hit high intensity intervals on my watch. Let's start with a single arm circle right here, big stretch, and we'll get you going. Yes, upper body, lower body, abs, cardio. We've got the whole kit and caboodle in here today. Switch directions, but a fun format. I like the flow across the mat, you know? <laughs> Something different. Switch sides right here. Switch directions. Good, let's do some heel digs. Sweep right there and alternate sides. Last one here. Okay, feet are a little wider than shoulder width. Front and back hinges here. Oh yeah. Just gently push your hips forward. One more here. Turn those toes out and plie open into the chest. Wide and touch your toes right here. Knees are soft. And I'm gonna get into a nice low side to side lunge. You can stay high and rock side to side here as well. This heel is up, stretching into that calf. And Achilles, a little bit of hamstring. Good, I'm bringing that elbow toward the ground here, giving that lower back and hamstring a really good warm up. One more here. Good. It's oh, a little side to side right here. up, a little shoulder roll, up by your ears, reverse directions, we're going to just do a nice little forward line drop, reach and stretch right here, you open up into the pec, push that thumb to the ceiling, and switch sides. Drop and stretch. Oh yeah. Other side again. One more here. Very good. And let's finish off with a little squat. Reach here, come to your tiptoes.
And there we go. Okay, here is your first five exercises. Here are your cardio, strength, 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 cardio. And back across the mat, here we go. All right, are you ready to start? I'm starting with a squat abductor jump. You can squat tap for low impact. And here we go for 10. All right, grabbing 15s for my squat. Just holding those weights on my shoulder. If you shoulder width, drop it low for 10. Ends for that reverse shoulder press. Palms are facing your face. Knees are soft and press right here. Back to 90. Two. There's 10. To my plie with my 25, pulse at the bottom, wide, low, and one. Front and back hop, you can walk to mod, pulse, jump one and two. There's ten. Back to my plie, pulse at the bottom, toes are out, shoulders back. Grip, shoulder press, palms facing, knees soft. One. And there's my 10. Back to my squat. The beans up on the shoulder. is up. Soft. 
One more for me. There's 10. Hitting that reverse fly. Rounded arms. Retracting shoulder blades. Hinge at the waist. Up for 10. There's 10. And hitting my goblet squat with the pulse with my 25. Your shoulder width, pulse at the bottom. Here's 10. And going into my double butt kick, you can single butt kick to modifier for low impact. I'm gonna kick my butt for 10 here. Back to my goblet. Whew. Pulse at the bottom. Finishing off with my 10 jumping lunges. All right, grab some water. One more round of the same weights. All right, we're back here with 10 T-Rex squats. Okay, that's your low impact mod. Otherwise, drop it low. 10, two. All right, with those 15s, reverse lunge hammer curl at the top. 10 in total, five per leg, alternating. There's one, switch legs, two. Good, kickbacks with those tens. Go lighter if you need. Double kickback for 10. Slow controlled. There's 
my 10, whew. One arm row, 10 in arm. I'm using a 25, but feel free to lighten here. Nice flat back, 10. Ten, switch. And use my ten again. Good star jumps for ten. You can jack a low impact jack to mod. Before I go back across, break as you need. You see the exercises if you want to go. Back to my row. Back flat. Definitely taking my time at this 25. Forward, elbows up, and 10. No swinging at the bottom. Last. Mama. Ooh, heavy. Reverse lunge. Hammer curl, 10 in total. My T Rex for ten. Shake that out. Duck under cross body punch for ten. And then we're taking it to the ground. Here we go. Take my other 25 over here. Next three exercises are on the ground. I'm starting with that tricep press to overhead extension. All right, I've got my 15s. Palms are facing. Up and back. Here we go. Up, back, up. That's one. Up, back, up is two.
last one for me. Whew, very good. I'm grabbing one of those tens for my butterfly sit up. You can do this without a weight. Feet together, knees open. Let's do that full sit up and press. So you're here, one, all the way down, two, Last here, I'm gonna go to my 25s for my chest press. Feel free to go back to those 15s. Okay, I wanna challenge myself. I've got 10 reps with my 25s. Straight over the chest. Here we go. There's five. There's 10. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. Woo! We'll bleed frog squat for 10. Here's your low impact mod. Otherwise, we hop. Touch the ground if you can. Back to my chest press, 25s. It's hard just getting them up into position, isn't it? Okay, when you're ready. There's five. Press over the chest. There's five. Last for me. into the tricep press, overhead extension, with my 15s. Palms face each other, up and back. Press it, ceiling, back, ceiling, and down. That's one. And two. Me. The teams are getting hard here. I'm gonna stay in the pocket, slow my pace. Oh, that was work, that last one. Very good. And up for your cardio, duck under cross body. Make sure you're not dizzy. Okay, we're switching weights. Have a look at the screen, see what you want to switch out. This is what I'm using. Give yourself a little recovery and we'll jump back in. Starting with a split split squat for your cardio, you can tap tap squat for low impact. 10 right here. 
here. And one. Grabbing my 20s, moving into a toes, slightly in deadlift, ever so slightly. Leave with your chest, knees are soft. And you hinge and drive. Don't arch your back at the top. In fact, you can even keep your upper back slightly rounded and tuck the pelvis under for a good squeeze on those glutes. There's five. Last here, Woo. feel that. Lateral raises, I'm gonna go to my eights. Out to the side, shoulders back. 10 here. Here's 10. Good. Into your push up salute. 10 push ups in total. Mod from the knees. Here we go. So push up and salute. That's one. And two. One more here. There's our 10. 10 rocket squats. Slow on the descent to mod. Come to your tiptoes. Here we go. Down for three, two, one. Jump it here. Three, two, one, and two. for my lateral raise here. Taking time. Core engaged. Again with the toes in, deadlift. I'll stick with 20s. Slightly. Beneath the chest and down. Squat for 10. Okay. 
Okay, walk it out, grab a quick sip. Same weight or placement for round two, our second circuit. Starting with that center jack side squat for 10. Center jack side squat will be your low impact. Let's work. One, two, There's 10, toes are slightly out on your deadlift this time. Okay, two rounds of this. Ever so slightly, and hinge. One more for me. Whew. Good, starting to feel those. Front raise, palms down. I think I'll start with my tens. Taking my time, start at your side and pop. Nice and slow. Two, stick your chest out. Last one here. Spider-Man Crunch, you've got 10 per leg. Okay, plank position, take it from your elbows if you want, if this hurts wrists. Alternating though, so 20 in total. One, two, crunch. Halfway. Your 20. Okay. Two jacks, front squat here. You can tap, tap squat for your low impact. You've got 10. There's one. your Spider-Man. When you're ready. Here we go. And 20. Raises. I'll grab those tens again. Wait until I'm ready. That rates up a bit. I want to be strong here. And ten. Stick your chest out. Out deadlift. Feel free to keep them straight if this bothers you.
Last one here. And into my split squat. For 10. Walk it out. You have a 30 second break. You can keep those split squats going if you don't need the rest. I mean, it's the same weights. I'm going to add 12s on the end, okay? You're starting with 10 snowboarders here. Your low impact will be a pivot squat. Just 10 in total, nice and low. Here we go. So your one, keep your eyes forward. Two, three. There's 10. <laughs> That's always killer. All right, tiptoe squat, holding 20s. Go lighter if you need. Five per toe. Core engaged. Drop it low. Five. All right, switch toes. There's five. Okay. Lateral combo. You're gonna take it to the front, then to the side, and that's one. I've got eight. Here we go. Up and one. Two. Three. Halfway. More here. There's 10. That was a lot of volume. On my back for the Tate press. I'm gonna grab 12s here. So tricep press to the chest. Palms face away. Pop your hips into bridge. And come down to the chest. Down and flex at the top. That's one. Two. Here. All right, hard cardio. We're gonna do some tuck jumps for 10. Okay, you can squat to mod. Otherwise, 10 jumps, core engaged. Good. Did you pee? <laughs> All right, we'll kick up again. Feel free to walk around before you head to the ground if you need. That wasn't horrible though, it wasn't horrible. All right, last 10 here, up in bridge. Down for 10, flex, two. Okay. Front lateral combo. And each, 20 in total.
more for me. Don't rock your body. One more here now. Good. All right, tip to a squat. Ooh, rack those up there. Come on, baby. Five per leg. Switch. Finish off with 20 cardio kicks. Here we go. 10. One and done. You move daily in your circus circuits. Well done, everyone. That was fun. I love the flow of that. I think it's so fun. I know rep range, rep range isn't the easiest to follow. Hopefully it wasn't too hard for you. It was good. It was good for me to joker stretch if you can. All right. Well done, folks. Let's do a standing stretch today, shall we? I want you to put one foot in front, the other foot behind, push that heel into the ground. Now lean forward, get some good hip flexor stretch here. You can raise your hands to the ceiling, sink into this here. Ah, deep breath in through that nose, even that double physiological inhale, or the double physiological side, double inhale, slow exhale through the nose is a great way to catch your breath after something hearty like that. Good, let's hinge back. Heel up, stretching that hamstring. Yeah, have you heard about that physiological side? So you do a deep double inhale through the nose. So really slow exhale. Helps bring that parasympathetic nervous system back online and brings the sympathetic nervous system. Lean forward here, other side. Reach up and sink. Uh, it helps bring the cortisol levels down. Right? You can. Google physiological side, Andrew Huberman, and he teaches all about the mechanism of what is happening in the brain when you do that with your breath. Oh, the breath is a wonderful tool, is it not? Let's reach back right here. That's what we have at our instant disposal to immediately reduce stress levels, to immediately reduce our heart rate, to immediately engage our parasympathetic nervous system, the breath is so important to learn how to breathe. Let's do some quads here. There's so many different ways and techniques that you can use. Um, my sister just taught us one in our membership group the other day. This is sometimes what they'll use with kids, is a straw and a balloon. So uh, you put the balloon on the end of the straw and you blow up the balloon. And then, right? So it's teaching them to use their breath to slow their breathing, to bring them back into the moment, to bring immediacy to the situation, especially if it's a stressful situation. I, I just love it. I can feel my body getting tense at times, right? You can feel your heart rate increase. Maybe you feel it in your stomach twist and turn. I feel it sometimes right here in my throat. Palms might get sweaty. Um, guts definitely start to turn because what happens is when cortisol releases, who needs digestion? If you're literally engaging your sympathetic nervous system, that means cortisol's released. It means your body is ready for fight or flight. There's a bear chasing you, is what your brain thinks. That's what the amygdala, amygdala thinks. Uh, problem is, there's no bear, typically speaking. I mean, when we need it, if there was someone literally chasing us or a bear, that would be brilliant. Our body would do what it was supposed to do. But we respond like that often when there's an email that we're uncomfortable with or when there's a conversation that we have to face or we have to get up on stage and talk in front of someone. <laughs> I know it's happened to me so many times. And the breath is one of those things that can just begin to reduce that heart rate. Let's take it wide here, hinge forward, grab those elbows and rock. Yeah, the breath can bring that parasympathetic nervous system back online help you stay in the moment and be mindful. Uh, it's a skill to be practiced for sure because once 
Cortisol's been released. It's too late at that point. Uh, I had a cortisol flush last week. I can tell, and I said it out loud. I'm like, oh, my cortisol's released. Like, it's too late. I have to feel all the things that the cortisol is bringing. And there's a reason it's there. So those are really important moments to pay attention. Like, why did I have that anxious feeling? Why did I have that flood of cortisol that made my body shake and tremble? What was the story I told myself? How did I encode what had just happened? Those are cues, right? Those are cues to pay attention to. And uh, a therapist I worked with once always said to me, if we ever have a big response, it means that something's going on inside of us. If it's a big response, it's yours. So it's time to pay attention to those moments and ask yourself, okay, what, what just happened there? What was the precipitating thought, experience, moment, smell, sound? All of those things can be triggers uh, for our reactivity. And so it's important to just notice that and then practice the breathing, practice bringing the heart rate back down, right? And if you practice when you're not in a moment of reactivity, it might be available to you when that moment does arise. And those moments arise for all of us. Those are there, that's gonna happen. So prepare yourself by practicing your breath. Download free meditations from Insight Timer. I do them regularly, almost every day. I love my afternoon Insight Timer moments. So uh, it's free, you can practice breathing and living in the moment. All right, thanks for joining. Go move daily in your fitness, wellness, and nutrition. If you're looking for a workout for tomorrow, maybe this one there. And if you're looking to join our membership, click or tap right there. See ya in the next workout.